Today in The Sims 4, we're continuing to build this massive mansion, which is currently priced at just over 5 million simoleons, which was actually the budget for the entire thing. Clearly, we've gone over, you know, just a tad, just a little bit. This is the final build in our series called Bloomcrest, where I have rebuilt every single lot in Newcrest, but each lot had to increase in price. We started with a tent and now we're here. And if you guys want to binge this playlist, I'll link it down below so you can watch it. So we're going to be tackling the first floor today. And I've been asking you guys for room ideas in the comments and they have been so good. And I was reading through a few of them from the last video and a lot of you guys wanted me to add a money vault to the casino basement. And duh, obviously this is a great idea and we can easily do it by adding it onto the cash out area. So all I've had to do is extend this room back a little bit so I have room to add a door. And back here we can add the money vault that comes with Get Famous. And then what we can also do, since this is supposed to be like the cash out area where the winners go we can add a whole bunch of gold bars in here because this is where all the money would be and it's a great place for her to hide all of it we can also add in some of our singular gold bars i can raise some of them up and put them on the counters even and obviously we're gonna be watching our price drop here okay we've got our money vault all complete i stacked the money in here there is so much money in that vault very fitting now we can make our way up to the first floor and i've added all of our flooring and wallpaper in here. And I've already made our layout. So what we're gonna be doing, we've got our entry down here. This is going to be our main foyer. To the left will be our dining. And then over further to the left is where we're gonna have a professional kitchen. There's a separate door entryway there. So if we hire like staff to come and cook for us, they can come through there. We're gonna have a bathroom down here. Another bathroom up top is where our secret entry to the basement is. Two more bathrooms over to the side here, a main living room and over to the right, we're gonna have a fountain of youth greenhouse room. I think I actually wanna start off over in the kitchen because starting in the foyer, I don't know, stresses me out, it's a lot of pressure. So let's start off in our professional kitchen. Obviously, we're gonna be using our most expensive appliances in here. So we're gonna be using this fridge and I might try and fit like three of them. We're gonna be picturing like an entire staff in here working, cooking for the owner of the house. So we're also gonna need a ton of cash counter space. Like we've got it set up like that. And then all I have to do is go in and change a few of them to these corner pieces. Then we have this little space in the middle. What if this is random, but what if we put a fish tank in there like this one and we just kind of like put it in there like that. I'm going to already fill the entire thing with fish just so we can see what it would look like in live mode. That's kind of cool. Over here, I'm going to add three sinks. And then on the other side, I think I'm going to put my ovens right here. So we're gonna use these ones and I'm just going to line them up where the counters were. I can even take more of my counters and put them back here. And this could be like a dishwashing station. So we're gonna grab this one and I'm just gonna stick it into all of the counters I put. On top of there, we could do a microwave, coffee machine. Maybe she's got like a sweet tooth. We could even put an ice cream machine. And then for trash cans, I'm gonna be using these and I'm gonna put a few of them. So we'll put like two there and then we can do two, maybe over to this side, like behind the fridges. Smoke detectors, I'm gonna put a couple of them probably, maybe like one there and one over here. And I'm gonna be lining the walls with these curtains here from the Desert Lux kit. Okay, now that we have all our essentials in here, we can start to add the expensive things. We have an entire wine cellar downstairs, so we should probably add a couple of these like wine racks. Ooh, the professional knife set too, we'll put those there. Obviously, we need some chandeliers. I love adding mirrors in these builds. They just take up money for like wall space that we're not really using. So I'm gonna cover probably this entire back area. And I might also put it between some of the columns that I've put. Like we could put it over here. That'll also show off our fish display a little better. And right above the fridges, I know that we have some very expensive dinner plates in The Sims 4. So I'm gonna add some shelving. We're gonna use this one here from Base Game. And here are the dinner plates. They are 10,000 simoleons each and they're from Jungle Adventure Debug. I'm not gonna go too crazy with these, but we are going to add a couple of them to our shelves. They're just gonna be on display up there like that. And maybe if we have our most like extravagant guests, they can eat on those plates. Also from Debug, I noticed these cookbooks. We've got a simple living cookbook from Cottage Living. We've got a base game like cookbook and a mixology one that are very expensive. They're like 2,500 simoleons for these. So I'm gonna put a couple of them just in the kitchen. Maybe we've got 
some like world-class recipes hidden in these books and that's why they're so expensive. Like what are you teaching people to cook in there for $2,500? One final idea for the kitchen that I have to eat up a little bit more money is I've been going through the debug menu and I've come across the death flower, this orchid and a dragon fruit, which are pretty pricey. I think I'm gonna make like a fruit bowl or like a little basket full of those. We did say that the owner that lives here is a little bit dark. We're not quite sure how she got our money. So I'm gonna add this bowl here from Dream Home Decorator. We're going to move this counter out of the way, bring the bowl back so it's like right where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna take these items and just raise them up and into the bowl. So it looks like we're gonna have a little arrangement of sorts. There is a market here in Bloomcrest which actually sells all of this stuff. So maybe that's where she got it. But I'm gonna add like quite a few of these things in here. So this arrangement is going to be pretty pricey. There's also like this UFO fruit, which is see-through. That's actually pretty cool. Look at it. There's like a little plant in there. You're getting added to the basket. Also the forbidden fruit, just questionable things that probably shouldn't be cooked for our guests, but might be. <laughs> Clearly basket arranging isn't quite my thing. There we go. Looks so tasty. <laughs> all right. This is going to be our kitchen all complete. I've added quite a few extra things in here to eat up some money. Like over here, we've got some antique tea sets, an antique kettle over there. I don't think the owner of the house will probably ever set foot in here. Here it is in live mode with all the fishies. And we're ready to move on to the next room, which is going to be the dining room. I also noticed real quick that the money vault we added messed up our pond out here. So I'm gonna have to come back and fix that at some point. It's very annoying that adding basements will like mess that all up. But anyway, let's do the dining room. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty important room in the house. We're pretty sure that the owner hosts a lot of people here. She has a lot of like business meetings and parties. So we're going to be adding a big dining table. I'm probably going to have to put like two together. Might even have to make the rug a little bit bigger. And I'm going to just take these two base game ones and we're going to squeeze it together like that. And for chairs, I really like these ones from base game. I don't want to go like crazy with these ones, even though they are expensive. I think I'm going to go with these. So we'll just line the entire dining table with those and we can cover up the middle of the dining table there with like a centerpiece. But for now, I really want to add a fireplace right in the middle here. I feel like if you got a fireplace in your dining room, you just have a lot of money. <laughs> so I was thinking like that one could be cute. We definitely need a little bit more lighting. So I think I'm going to take these and we'll add those in there. Those are from Spa Day, but I was thinking about also combining it with these as well. Not really feeling the warm tone. So I think I'm going to just change the color of those lights to maybe something like that. Above the fireplace, I'm going to put a mirror and because we were talking about the fountain of youth that we're going to be building, I feel like mirrors are going to be a general theme in this build. So I'm going to add those hutches right there. Maybe like a plant here in the corner. Our beloved hanging plant. I literally don't know what I would do without this plant in my life. I think we should also be adding some bar carts. So I think I'm going to put some of these over here and I wouldn't mind adding the vintage glamour bar here as well. It's not overly pricey, but I've always really liked that one. And I feel like there's an expensive like corner piece from base game. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is gonna go over in the corner near our secret entryway. <laughs> I'm also gonna download some art that we're gonna be using for the entire first floor. And this is coming from Banshee HVO on the Sims 4 gallery. So I'm gonna be downloading this one, I think, and probably this entire collection plus some of the gold ones. I'm just like sticking a bunch of them over here while I work. And then we can put that in here and we're gonna bring back one of my favorite hacks for spending money in The Sims 4, we're gonna find the picture of Vlad. Yeah, this guy. And we're gonna shrink it. And since I can't quite fit the picture in the frame properly, I'm gonna shrink it even more. And we're gonna use these to build ourselves a little frame for our picture. This actually ends up looking really cool. And every picture we use of Vlad is like 2,800 simoleons. So if we do this every time, we're gonna be eating up quite a decent amount of money here. And then I feel like it just adds a little bit of detail. Another one of my favorites to use is the paranormal frame in white looks really good around it too. On my bar cards, I'm going to be using these really cute like vases from Journey to Batu. I feel like they just look really cool on like bar cards. What is this supposed to be actually? Bug bite cure. Hmm. Wouldn't recommend drinking it, but wouldn't recommend eating the death flower in the kitchen either. So, and then finally for my centerpiece, I feel like I should add the golden bowl of fruit, right? Like 
like this thing, I can just kind of move that out of the way and place it right in the middle. And then we can maybe just surround it with like pretty candles for my wedding stories. Maybe also like a couple of these, just something to pull the room together. All right, here is our dining room. I feel like it looks so fancy in here with the centerpieces, all the candles. Some last minute things I added were the VIP bucket with that statue there. I've been adding in these lights here from Get Famous. I feel like they just look extra fancy in here. I also added a Roomba because I feel like it's gonna be really hard to keep this place clean. So I'll probably be adding a few of those like throughout this floor here and throughout the house. But that is our dining room all complete. Before we move into the foyer, I do wanna get this room out of the way here. We still have our secret entryway to the basement, which we're gonna have to add like curtains to. So I was thinking about adding these really thick, like big theater curtains here from Get Famous to really keep it a secret, you know? We'll add it all along the entire wall and we really don't need much in here. But one of my favorite rooms downstairs is actually the chess room. So we're gonna pay a little bit of respect to that up here. It is a full like casino downstairs. So I'm gonna add these here, kind of just indicating that that's what's going on down there. We can add some knights here too, symbolizing the chess room. Then maybe just as something for fun, I could put this over here on that wall. Kind of just keeping it simple, but there is that room. And next we're gonna get this foyer out of the way. I don't know why I really don't like building these in mansions. I tried to make it look cool by adding different types of flooring in here for like a checkered pattern. Again, hinting a little bit at the basement, but I feel like I should put like a big statue in here or something. These rooms in like real life mansions are always so awkwardly empty in the first place, which I feel like is why I don't like building them. So I'm just gonna keep it kind of simple. We'll add like some ottomans right here. We'll keep with like the black and gold kind of color scheme we've got going on. Maybe we can add some more of our pictures in here and also maybe just these like end tables here from Moschino. Okay, so here is the main foyer. Not a whole lot going on in here. I still have room to add like little statues on the end tables if I wanted to come back and do that. But I did add things here like these curtains. I added a security camera, which I feel like I should be adding more of in here. Maybe we'll grab one and like stick one in here and also in the dining room. <laughs> one fun idea you guys had was to make a security room. So all of these cameras will eventually make sense. But this is what the other side of the foyer is looking like over here. And would you look at that? We have spent another million. I think before I move on to the final rooms, we're gonna get rid of some of these bathrooms. And we have four bathrooms in total on this floor that I wanna take care of. So let's start off with this one here. We're gonna have a toilet, a shower, and a bathtub in every single one. They should all be big enough. So for this one, we'll have our toilet right there. We're gonna use the 12,000 simoleon bathtub in all of them as well. We can do our sink for this one right here. And the shower is gonna be this one here and we could probably squeeze it in that little corner right there. I think in all the bathrooms too, I'm gonna take the opportunity to use the really expensive art because honestly, I am not a fan of the in-game art in The Sims 4, especially the expensive ones, but we gotta use them somewhere. They're too expensive to pass up. So the bathrooms are where we're gonna have our gallery of expensive Sims 4 art. <laughs> We'd also put the bamboo in here, maybe also a laundry hamper. I'm probably gonna do like a maid's quarters upstairs somewhere so we can have all of our laundry up there, but we'll put the hampers at least in all the bathrooms. We can hang up some robes in here. So here is our bathroom number one. We're gonna end up with so many bathrooms in this house with four already on the first floor and like 12 of them downstairs. I added a couple more of our pictures from Banshee HVO and all of our Vlad pictures behind it. Moving on to the next one, we've got one over here connecting onto the living room. For this one, we can put my shower right here and I was thinking it would be kind of cute if we divided that with one of these from Eco Lifestyle because it's normally meant to be like pushed up against the wall that way. But if we separate it with that, I feel like that'll look kind of cute. Then for this one, we can do our sink right there with our mirror, loving the bronze look in this one. Our toilet can go there. And then on the other side, this is where we can put our bathtub. Maybe above this bathtub, we can try out some different mirrors. I like putting these ones together from Snowy Escape. We can add like a bath mat right here. And what paintings do we want in this one? Maybe that could go right here with like one of these ones from Cats and Dogs. So there is that bathroom. I added a little extra clutter with our towels, some stuff from the bathroom kit, a trash can over there. And I thought these plants look really cute near the window. So we've got a couple of those. 
those. We can move on from this one over to the final two and this might get a little bit repetitive so I'm probably just gonna finish these up and show you when I'm done. But I did want to show you this over here. I did add a door to one which is why two of them are like right beside each other. This one is meant for like if you're outside maybe coming in from the pool you can shower there, get changed, do your thing, and also just easy access to a toilet from the outside. Okay so here are the final bathrooms for this floor. I love this like bronzy gold color for the bathrooms in this house. We've got some more expensive art on the wall, our toilet, all of the same appliances I've been using because they're just the most expensive ones. But this is going to be like our outdoor bathroom. I love this plant here from growing together and then I just added a couple more of like the bamboo plants in there. And then over on this side, this is probably the most basic one but with the most expensive piece of art. This one is is like 8,000 simoleons. So ridiculous, but here it is. We've got everything we need in here again. And with that, we're ready to move on to our living room. And I need to show you guys the inspiration picture that I found for this. When I was researching what I wanted to do, I came across this very like planty living room, which seemed perfect for our Bloomcrest mansion. So what I'm gonna do, and this is gonna seem really weird at first, but stay with me. I'm gonna build a platform and then I'm gonna lower that down by two clicks. So it's just going to be sunken in there a little bit and then surrounding that I'm going to take a half wall and I'm just going to trace around it like this. This is where we're going to put our plants. We'll just delete those like little extra pieces there. I'm going to add some grass flooring in there, maybe some like brick wallpaper around and then inside there I'm going to take this grass piece from Island Living. We're going to shrink it just once so I don't have anything sticking out and I'm just going to fill the entire thing with this. So right now we've got something like that I'm gonna add like a fireplace just so it kind of makes a little bit more sense what we're gonna be facing and then in here I'm gonna be going in with these little plants from Jungle Adventure. I might actually switch some of them out with these base game ones just to get like a different variety of color and then in there we have these trees from City Living that I really like. I am literally gonna put trees in my living room <laughs> and then I think the best thing that's gonna match in here is going to be these from Dream Home Decorator so I'm gonna build a sectional pretty much just around this entire like sunken living room that I've created. And for the people that are gonna be commenting like, oh, what about the bugs? <laughs> We've just established that everyone here is drinking bug bite cure. So I think, I think you're gonna be okay. I've just added a rug in there and this is going to be our living room seating area. Then on the other side, we're obviously going to be adding our really expensive TV. I feel like I should be adding bookshelves to the side of this. So I'm gonna add some right here and I'm gonna stack them. Just raising them up on top of each other so that they look kind of natural like that. These are also pretty pricey here too. And just to make this come together like one full unit here, I'm gonna add these end tables and I'm just stacking them on top of each other like that. So this is gonna look like it's just actually supposed to be like that. So there is our TV unit. I think I'm gonna add a video game console on there. We've already established that Willow loves gaming. We can also maybe add like this ship on there, just like expensive little things to clutter around with. Oh, the grandfather clock we could also add that maybe over here and I've been loving adding these here from high school years just because they have the black and the gold just anywhere that I think I need like some extra seating I can just put those back here maybe we can add a nice marble end table over here and I think I might put a couple more pictures on these empty walls so here is our very unique looking living room but I actually love how it turned out I wasn't quite sure how it was gonna go with these trees but I absolutely love love how it turned out. I think it looks so cool. Not really like the picture that I had, but I feel like it is close enough. Over here, I added a couple more of these pictures. This one had like a plant-like pattern on it, so I thought that one was fitting, and I really like the gold accents in here. I also added this expensive mirror here from Fitness Stuff, and again, another Roomba. Plus, I found another one of those expensive books, and this one was so fitting. It's How to Be a Successful Socialite, a complete guide to entertaining and being entertained and that is what we're doing here honey. This is what it looks like from this side and we are ready to move on to the final room we're gonna do today which is going to be the Fountain of Youth Greenhouse. This is actually the top comment on my last video. I thought it was such a fun and cool idea especially since fountains were so prevalent on the outside and Willow is so vain that I would not put it past her to have one of these in her house. The comment also said that it could be a fun idea for her to have people over and like people could literally pay her 
remember to use this fountain of youth. So around the fountain, I'm going to be adding these meditation pillows. And obviously this isn't going to actually work for your Sims, but it could be kind of cool to like bring them into create a Sim after and like change them that way, like a little ceremony. So they all meditate around the fountain, keeping in mind that the wishing well we have outside can actually grant you youth. So it's not that outside the realm of possibility. We're going to line all the windows with these. I think I'm going to add these tables here from the blooming rooms kit. And on top of there, another really expensive debug item we have are these birds of paradise. They're floral arrangements. So I'm going to put a couple of those in here. We could also put maybe a few of our death flowers. Kind of ironic to be in here. We can put some bigger plants around like these. Also some clutter items maybe from the greenhouse kit. Inside the fountain, maybe we can have this like kind of coming out of it from romantic garden stuff. Just symbolizing like beauty. And then again, since it is a very vain room we're dealing with here, I feel like we should have at least a few mirrors on the wall. Maybe in between them, we could put these here from high school years. And we can add another little fountain here like this one from vampires. We also have this here from the blooming rooms kit that we can fill up with a bunch of plants. Maybe we can add one of our little gold gnome statues that we used outside in here. And I think I want to add this greenhouse table here too, with maybe a couple of the actual planters in here. So if she wanted to plant something, she could. I kind of doubt that she'll actually want to, but if she does, then at least it's there. All right. So here is our fountain room in live mode. This is so cool from the inside. I also added like a little fountain in there as well that had flowers in it just to add that little bit of extra greenery on there. Back here, we've got all our plants, not functional. So you can't actually get back there, but you don't need to. They're just plants. We've got our meditation area here to worship the fountain. And this is what the little corner is looking like on this side as well. So there we go. That has been us furnishing the first floor of this huge mansion. The final thing I have to do for this build today is just fix up this back part that got broken by the basement. We still have some of our pond here intact. So it's really just that area right there that needs to be fixed. So maybe back here we can add the floral arranging table since we have all of the like weird plants in there. Maybe she hires a gardener and they make little arrangements for her back here. We could also add like a bee box back here. And there we go. I feel like not too much damage here has been done. All right. So in the next episode, we're going to have to furnish the second and potentially third floor. Maybe we can do it all in one. I also have these little towers here. So keep commenting your ideas. I'm constantly checking for them for building this. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.